Characteristics of trigonometric functions. Question 4. Determine maximum and minimum value of the following functions. So we have g of x equals to sin x minus 2 as a and b is f of x equals to 3 cos of 2 times x minus 30 degrees minus 1 and c is y equals to minus 2 cos of 3x minus 60 degrees plus 1. Right. So in these three equations we find that all of them have been translated up and down and so when there is a vertical translation the maximum and minimum value changes. Maximum minimum value also changes with vertical stretch or compression. So basically in any equation in in any trigonometric equation the maximum minimum value is affected by vertical translation whether it is vertical stretch or vertical translation right so in general we will write a transformed equation like this can be written as uh, y equals to let me write this a times f of so it may be function could be sine or cosine and therefore we are writing f here right it it could be sine cosine or any function k times x minus p plus q right books sometimes will write d here and c here so p i'm writing for phase shift right and q is the vertical translation so in this transformed equation or a general equation uh, for a function a represents the vertical stretch or compression and q represents the translation vertical translation correct now now for a sinusoidal function whether it is sine function or a cosine function your maximum and minimum values will be a plus q right why it is so let's try to understand that part okay so here is my axis and let me draw a sine wave here we'll just draw one sine wave to understand the concept now if this is the wave then the amplitude is let us say amplitude is some something a plus this point is a and this point is a minus let us say right so it has been already vertically stretched or compressed correct now so the amplitude is always taken positive whether it is showing like this is the distance how away it goes from the mean value which is axis of symmetry the mean value is given by q correct now if i transform this or translate it a bit that means up and down if i move this way let's say i move it at some position here right let's say i make it like this correct and uh, what i'm trying to say is that let me move it up right and let's say this point becomes this point becomes q for me it is the units which i have or let me separately draw it that's better so we'll compare it with this drawing correct that will be good for us so let's say now we draw another wave not not here but we draw it here let's say this point okay it could it may or may not touch it, it doesn't really matter and let's say this is our wave now so where what I'm trying to say is this is your vertical translation Q. Let's say right Q here, right? So that is Q for us. And A is how far away you go from Q in the positive side and negative side. Since this is axis of symmetry, both these distances are same. So this point will be what? This point will be Q plus A, right? Q plus A. And this point will be Q minus A. Do you see that? So that is how you get your maximum and minimum. So in finding maximum and minimum, what you have to do is you have to figure out what is the vertical translation and what is the vertical stretch at them to get your answer. So here it's easy now. We get maximum is equals to A is 1 for us. So get 1 plus Q is minus 2. So we'll do minus 2, correct? And therefore we get but yeah maximum position could be negative or positive remember that so this is minus one correct 
and the minimum for us will be Q minus A. Q is, we'll write Q first now, okay? Q is minus 2. Minus 2 and minus A, A is 1. So it's minus 1. So it'll be minus 3, right? So this wave is, is kind of, kind of here. Do you see that? Okay. Now there, for this function, what is A? A is 3 for us and Q is minus 1. And therefore, our maximum will be add them up that is minus 1 plus 3 which is 2 and minimum will be minus 1 minus 3 which would be minus 4 perfect now here we'll write q first q equals to 1 a equals to minus 2 maximum will be you do it and minimum will be you do it correct so that is how we get maximum and minimum value for a function right so if that is the general formula then we can write down what should be the maximum or minimum value so for this we can say maximum is equals to q plus a and minimum is equals to q minus a so that is how always it is going to be so in general maximum minimum is just addition of vertical stretch and vertical translation and minimum is the difference between vertical translation and vertical stretch okay i hope you understand and get it thank you